The 2016 NFL Draft was the epitome for good defensive line prospects. There was Joey Boza from Ohio State, there was DeForest Buckner from Oregon, and then there was Jaron Reed from Alabama. Reed was an elite run defender in college. He has strength, a well-built frame, and he knows how to create leverage at the point of attack. He is excellent at anchoring the center of the defense while facing centers and guards to control his gap. The Falcons are in single back with a tight end on the line of scrimmage. Reed is lined up as a strong side nose tackle in the Seahawks 4-3 under defense. Michael Bennett uses his inside arm to completely blow Jake Matthews into the backfield. Coleman sees his domination and cuts inside. Reed disengages from the blocker and is there to make this tackle for a minimal gain. Later in the same game, the Falcons run outside zone, this time with Devontae Freeman. Reed sheds the cut block and then he chases the running back from behind. While he typically has a good first reaction, he can sometimes get behind his block. His hand usage and placement leaves a lot to be desired. In this play, the center uses his outside arm to twist Reed and slow his feet. This creates a gap just big enough for the running back to get through. Reed is now late and therefore can't make a play on the running back. In general, Reed is really good at anchoring against plays that directly come towards him. He does a great job of holding his ground and forcing the running back away from his gap. Once he perfects his hand usage and gets his feet and shoulders moving laterally, he'll become the elite run stuffer he was in college. As a pass rusher, his role in the defense was limited. He was taken out on third downs and he played as a two-gapper in their base packages. For the vast majority of these plays, he was simply asked to occupy blockers and open up one-on-one -on -one opportunities for the other defensive linemen. For these plays, he slanted towards the bubble, forcing the center and the guard to respect his pass rush. If I had to guess, this occurred on roughly 70 to 80% of the passing plays he was on the field. In the few times when he was actually allowed a pass rush, he was largely ineffective. In this play, he attempted to use a club rip in order to get around Alex Mack. The club portion of Reed's move doesn't clear Mack's hands, which allows Mack to stop reading his tracks. Landing the initial club makes this move work. If Reed can't do this, he won't be able to penetrate. Reed usually lined up as a one tech sitting off the outside shoulder of the center, but he occasionally shifted out to the three tech position sitting on the outside shoulder of one of the guards. Even when his bull rush was able to get movement, he needs to learn to disengage from his block. This was a consistent issue all season and it stopped him from getting any hurries, let alone any sacks. He also needs to learn a counter move like the push-pull bull jerk, which should help his pass rush. Now, he sometimes flashed some promise, but this was far too infrequent. In week 10 against the Patriots, he used his hands well to fight the right guard into the pocket. The coverage on the field is good, and Reed is able to pull Tom Brady down for the sack. Overall, his role in the defense is pretty limited. If the Seahawks are willing to do this, they must know he isn't a good pass rusher yet. He'll have to get better in order to play on third downs. As of right now, I think he'll stay as a first and second down nose tackle unless he drastically improves his pass rush over the offseason. Well, that's it for this video. Every Friday from here until the regular season starts, I should be looking at a general NFL topic on this channel. Last week, I looked at Marshawn Lynch, while this upcoming Friday, I'll be looking at Brandon Cooks and his fit with the Patriots. As always, if you want your topic explored, click the link to my Patreon account and let me know who you want me to break down. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Samuel Gold for my latest updates. 